up off the ground and sat me up, leaned me against here, pulled my wallet out, my ID and stuff. Um, the EDD guy said they were just making sure we had workers' comp insurance and uh, that everybody that worked here was getting paid. Um, then they came out and they took a statement from me out here wanting to know who I was, where I lived, my phone number, um, what I was doing here, like if I, uh, if I worked here, if I volunteered here, um, want to know who ran the place, they want to know all sorts of stuff. They uncuffed me and brought me inside and sat me down and wanted to ask me questions. All these cameras have gloves on them because they didn't, I guess they don't want anything recorded. These are our patient files. These are our legal medical records that we keep um, of verified patients. So for instance, we take copies of their prescription, their IDs. Um, we have them sign an agreement that clarifies the rules and the law um, and what goes on here. Really, all the information the police ever needed would be in one of these if they just took one. They could find out how we operate and what we do and see that we're following the law. We're really politically active. We, we were proponents of Measure C. We got behind Joanne Shively because we thought she was the best candidate for, for mayor. Um, and we encourage our patients to register to vote. We don't tell them how to vote, but we want them to exercise their right. So we drop off, we have them fill out uh, forms, which are over there, and then we drop them off. The next day after the raid, um, it actually took us a while to notice. But these here are voter reg forms that have been shredded. Yes, that is, yeah, <laughs> straight ripped up. And then they tear, they tear everything apart. Um, these, this is where they ripped out our DVR. Um, so in the first two raids, they left the DVR. It was fine. Oh, there's another glove camera too. Um, they left the DVR and we brought in the video of the raid and presented it to city council and asked them to behave differently next time, maybe treat us with a little bit more compassion and not be so abusive. Um, they actually made a point when they were here, they said, Morgan, so when you go in front of city council, what are you going to tell them? Were we nice to you? The fuck you guys know. <laughs> you're dicks, look what you're doing. Um, broke all these ceiling tiles, which had just been replaced. The building inspector was here that day to finish the last step of the permit process. So all three raids coincided on the same day as uh, an inspection, be it the fire inspection or code enforcement or so on. Um, Code enforcement was the last one. They had just gotten all their paperwork signed off. And uh, then the raid happened. Um, so all of the, these are all now code violations. So now that they broke all this stuff, it all has to be replaced and redone, um, which I, I sort of think has been their tactic all along, is to, to intimidate and slow down the business, um, which is why they didn't press charges in the second raid. They just left it. Um, this is what they did over here. Broke everything. Tore shit apart. Broke the shelves. Stomped our shit. Tore went down our paper shredder. <laughs> Freaking idiots. I gotta say, I'm not impressed. I'm moving the fuck out of Vallejo. Like, for one, I'm scared. Um, certainly because they all knew who I was during the raid and they definitely were trying to intimidate me to get me to be more friendly next time I go in front of city council. Um, but on top of that, if this is what my taxpayer dollars are going to, I at least want them to do their job well. So if they're trying to get all the weed out of the club, you know, <laughs> get all the weed out of the club.